things get real in the Europa League. It is time for the final, and there can be only one winner. Who's it going to be? It is Chelsea. They face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. Well, the anticipation is over, and now the big day is here. It's the final of the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Stuart Robson. We're on the cusp of kickoff. It's Chelsea up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, this has everything, doesn't it? Two good teams, some top-class players, and a couple of excellent coaches. What a final this should be. Committed challenge. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. The Chelsea corner. Taken short. Chilwell. And still looking for space. Well, this could really help the cause. It's a perfect challenge. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Raphael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Palmer. Caicedo. Conor Gallagher. Thiago Silva. Enzo Fernandez. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Casemiro. Difficult to stop him. Can he play it in? Casimiro. And a passing sequence that's easy on the eye. So Fernandez. Sterling. And has it. That's the time tackle. Bruno Fernandes has it. And players waiting in the centre. Manchester United might be able to profit here. Corner it is. <laughs> and deciding to go short with this one.
another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So Chelsea restart the game. Can they come up with an answer? Di Sassi. Fernandez. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Gallagher. Nkunku. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So back in business, and Chelsea behind. Let's see if they're able to bounce back in this half. And Kunku. chance to draw level well it certainly wasn't an easy chance but one they needed to take Rashford Lindelof. Not a classic example of how to intercept. And defensive play to be applauded. Gusto. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Everyone in the centre looking on as it sailed over them. Gallagher. Great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Well, you can see his frustration. They've just lost their focus here. Business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1 1. Lindelof doing everything possible to keep possession. Marcus Rashford. Bruno Fernandes has it. Rashford. Space available inside. Marcus Rashford doing the shielding. Waiting now for teammates to arrive on the scene. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? And United will switch things around personnel-wise. He's driven in the corner. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Rafael Varan. Diogo Dano. Diogo Dano on the ball. And teammates to play it to. Bruno Fernandes. Now, will they be 
able to play it in behind the defence. And still looking for space. And a very good challenge. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Chilwell. Nkunku. And Chelsea still knocking on the door in the closing minutes. Can they find a winner? Just 10 minutes to go. Teammates available. Scott McTominay. Back with Rashford. They begin there to intercept. Now with Rashford, and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, both teams have had substitutes warming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And hit with ferocity, it was close, but not quite good enough. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Really good, strong tackle, and it'll be a throw-in. Scott McTominay. Now with Rashford. Lindelof. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to... So back in business here, the first period of extra time, and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? They'll be doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Caicedo Malo Gusto Conor Gallagher Madueke and Chelsea have given us away Lindelof it's with McTominay Maguire this is Varane. Anthony. Good tackle. With determination there for all to see. Gallagher. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Nkunku. Connor Gallagher. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, underway again, the second period of extra time. Who's going to prevail here? And Chelsea struggling to keep the ball. Doesn't have to do it on his own. Can he put them in front? No is the answer to the question. And that could be so important at this stage.
Well, will they get another chance? That would surely have won the game for them. Still level here, but Manchester United making a push near the end. Ericsson. And defensive play to be applauded. Five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. Moises Caicedo. Fernandes. Outrageously skillful. The fans are shouting, shoot! And the challenge, crisp and clean. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. It always had the potential, didn't it, to go to a penalty. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. Oh, a superb save. And the penalty converted here. And he steps up to take the shot. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. And it's gone in. Can he remain calm? Well, the Panenka has duly fooled the goalkeeper. He had to score, and he does. Almost intolerable pressure. Sorry for the losers. They were so close, yet so far away. And the party. 